Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another Back to Cake Basics episode and I'll be making some homemade caramel sauce. Now once you see just how easy this is to make, you will never ever go back to the bottled variety. This is perfect for cakes, cupcakes, desserts, coffee drinks, you name it. Anywhere you need caramel, this is the caramel sauce to use. This recipe requires just six ingredients and it takes about 20 minutes to make. So into a small saucepan, I'm going to add in one cup of white granulated sugar and pour in a quarter cup of water. I'm going to set my burner onto medium high heat and that's it for the first step. Now we wait. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for that sugar syrup to caramelize into a rich amber color. You don't need to stir, just let it sit on its own. And how beautiful does that look? Now we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add in four tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, go ahead and add in half a cup of heavy cream. Then go ahead and remove your caramel sauce from the heat. Add in a pinch of sea salt and then one to two teaspoons of vanilla. You want to make sure you add it at the very end so you get the most flavor out of your extract. Give that a whisk. Just let the caramel cool in here. It's going to be extremely, extremely hot at this point. And once your caramel sauce has cooled a bit, you can go ahead and pour it into a little glass jar. And check this out. Oh, doesn't this look gorgeous? This caramel sauce is just so silky smooth. And you can leave your caramel sauce at room temperature in this jar. It's going to thicken up just a little bit once it cools down. Now, if you're looking for a thicker caramel to use for a dessert or if you want to use it in place of dolce de leche, just place it into the refrigerator and check this out. This caramel becomes a really thick and creamy caramel that you can use for frostings. And that's it guys for my simple homemade caramel sauce. Head down into my video description box to click on the link, which will take you to my blog where you can get the full recipe and you can also save it to your Pinterest and Instagram accounts on there. And this sauce is just looks so, so good. I'm gonna take a little spoonful for myself. It's still a little warm. Mmm. So rich, so smooth, silky, and absolutely delicious. You get that true caramelized sugar flavor with this caramel sauce, but it's also so silky with the butter and the heavy cream. You get the little bits of that salt coming through. This is going to be perfect for all your coffee drinks, drizzling over desserts, and then this refrigerated version, it's going to be perfect for my salted caramel frosting. You can use it in place of dolce de leche. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe, and I'll see you next time.